What's up YouTube? Today is December 27th and today is two days after Christmas. Duh. It was a beautiful Christmas. Spent great time with family. Got to eat amazing food. Amazing, amazing food. It was just a great time. One for the books. Yeah, so here I am with the title. Am I still doing YouTube? And the answer is yes. So, I actually took three weeks off of YouTube, almost a month, honestly, just because my creative juices have been really freaking low lately, and I just felt like I've done every video in the fitness world, kind of. You know, the full days of eating, the physiques updates, the workouts, the voiceovers, the everything, and I just felt like I needed to take a break because my creative juices were getting really low, and I honestly have just been unmotivated to make videos, um, unmotivated to vlog, unmotivated to do sit down videos. I just needed a break. I needed to rejuvenate myself. Steve and I have been so busy this past month. We've had someone living with us. We've had the holidays. We've had a big change in Steve's life, which coming up soon. All positive things. Gearing up to have more company this week, go to LA this week, and travel to Boise. So it's just been literally insane. I'm here to say I'm coming back on the tube and it's going to be even better. I have a lot of fun things planned for this next year. I start bikini prep series in a couple weeks, either the second I'm starting or the eighth. More deeds on that later. So I'm gonna have a ton more videos on that. I'm, I'm planning on uploading twice a week. I'm gonna do a vlog and then possibly like a workout, you know, that kind of thing. So I wanna keep doing videos, but I need to make sure to change it up and keep myself from getting bored of creating videos. So if you guys have any, any suggestions, it could be acro yoga, challenge it could be a fashion clothing haul it could be a makeup tutorial it could be a how to curl my hair it could be anything it doesn't have to be fitness but I do want the core of my channel to stay fitness so I just needed a break and now I'm back back again 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 Guess who's back, 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 back again. now I'm gonna keep going on YouTube <laughs> what was that? Steve and I will be going to LA next week and we're so excited. He's never been to LA before and so that is so exciting that he gets to go with me. We're going to be uh, with Gymshark for a couple days and then we're going to be with Bodybuilding.com for another couple days for the LA Fit Expo and it's going to be literally insane. Like I plan on just vlogging the whole thing because it's going to be such an amazing experience to share with you guys. I've never been to an event with Gymshark before so this is going to be really cool. Super excited about that. Next video is going to be a full day of eating video. I plan on doing it in a couple days when I have a leg day because I am at 390 carbs and I want to show you guys how I eat all that food in one day because it's literally it hurts me right now we are at the gym I'm gonna do a shoulder and chest workout and I'm gonna do a voiceover here so yes let's get to it I'm amping myself up I'm talking myself up because it's cold out it's like 10 degrees and I really don't so here we go guys, we can do this. In the exact three. temperature, nine degrees Fahrenheit. Nine degrees. Wanna count down? Six degrees. Three, two, one. What's up everyone? Currently sitting in my Santa Monica hotel room. I unfortunately don't have my beautiful microphone so I am recording from my phone. Bear with me here, I know the quality isn't perfect. But here we go, shoulder workout. We are doing some shoulder presses and this is the heavier, the heaviest I will go. I start with I think 20 pounds, work my way up each set. My last two sets will be heavy. So you're gonna do four to five sets of this, do about eight to 12 reps. And if you really start to struggle towards the end, it's okay to grab a spotter. You're then going to superset with some rear delt flies. Now, instead of going off to the side, I'm now going more forward. Steve pointed out that my rear delts actually get a little bit more activated. He can see it when I do more of a Y movement rather than a flare out to the side movement so it's something to give it a try for you guys everyone is different so uh this is just what work, works for me so i am doing 15 reps here again you're going to superset the first exercise with this moving on to leaning lateral raise you can do this with a bench you can do this uh, leaning from a pole a machine whatever the case may be you want to go ahead and do about 10 reps heavier uh, and then you're going to drop the weight here and do about 10 reps lighter. Now, you really want to try and focus on 
bringing the weight off to the side and kind of having a little bit of a bend in the elbows uh, if it is heavier just to protect your rotator cuff. Um, then you also want to try and tip the weight, the front of the weight, down towards the floor, kind of like a tipping a teapot movement. Uh, then you're going to move on to a little bit of a wider grip upright row on the Smith machine. You're going to give me about eight reps, and I kind of do these a little bit heavier, uh, but when I started, I wanted to strengthen my rotator, rotator cuffs before I went a little bit heavier. So this has definitely taken me a year to build up the strength to go a little heavier on these. Um, so definitely start off pretty light. Even just the bar is completely fine. You're going to do about 10 reps, 8 to 10 reps of this. You're going to do 4 sets. The next e exercise is going to be sort of a front delt press on the, I think it's the chest press machine. Um, I do about 10 reps with a five pound plate on it. I drop the plate and I do about 10 reps with no weight. And uh, this is definitely something that you don't want to lock your elbows in at the top. So make sure they're nice and soft uh, and controlled control the whole movement. The next exercise is going to be a chest press on the machine. I like to sit forward on this machine um, and then just really focus on using the chest to bring the whole movement up and back. You want to squeeze your chest at the top of the movement and uh, make sure your core is tight so you stay in the correct position. All right. Oh, and you're going to do about 10 reps for four sets on the last one. This next exercise is my finisher. You're going to do, now, don't hate me. These are called prison push-ups. You're going to do one push-up, come up, do a kind of a lateral raise movement, but you're going to bring your hands all the way to the top. Make sure your arms are completely straight, and then you're going to go back down. So you're going to go one push-up, one raise, two push-ups, two raise, three push-ups, four raises, and you're going to go all the way up to 10. Now you see me on my knees here. It, that is when it actually starts to get pretty hard. I think around the sixth set, I drop down to my knees and I kind of wrap them out. With your hand placement, you want to kind of place them a little bit wider than your shoulder blades uh, so that you get nice chest activation. After this, you're going to do some core. Um, I just did about 10 reps of a decline sit-up. And I try and kind of make a C with my spine on the way up and really tuck in that chin towards your chest um, so that you're activating the entire core as well as the lower abs. You're going to do superset that with some decline leg raises you're going to give me about 10 reps and those are really really great for the lower abs so first exercise give me 10 reps second exercise give me 10 reps you're going to give me four sets of these bad boys so i hope you guys enjoyed this workout please take what's up youtube i hope you guys enjoyed that wonderful shoulder and chest workout and a little bit of core i've personally been feeling a little bit unmotivated for training as well as vlogging. I think you guys, I think it's the winter blues. I get it every year. I get super like grumpy and irritable. So I don't know if you guys have this too, but sometimes during the winter, I just have like a few days where I'm just not myself and I just feel really unmotivated, but I always snap out of it because you know, I do love training and I love nutrition. It's obviously my passion, but everyone has those days where they just don't wanna go to the gym. But after the gym, you always feel so good and you never regret a workout. Am I right? Right now, we're gonna go see Chloe, my sister, because she recently, today, recently, just got a nose job because she got in a really bad car accident and it messed up her nose. Her bones were all crooked and we, our family has these two little bones right here that stick out. Um, and hers were more protru protruding after the accident and 
she has she had like a deviated septum or something like that but she's gonna document her entire journey on her channel her channel is just type in chloe chamberlain in the search engine and you'll find it but she wants to be transparent with you guys because there's not a lot of people who are transparent about their nose jobs uh and she just feels like she wants to be the person to help everyone who is looking into it um make the right decision for them and she wants to share her recovery process so we're about to go see her she got out of surgery a few hours ago and I'm a little bit nervous because I get really freaking queasy just thinking about it but uh, yeah we're she all is good she got out of surgery just fine and my mom said has a picture of her and she's like this in the picture thumbs up so uh, it's gonna be interesting I think she's aware but we we shall see so i got a new camera sony a6500 the lens doesn't doesn't flip up so i can't see myself talk and see where the camera is so i'm hoping this is in my face and you guys can see my face right now but sony a6500 is so far treating us well we've had it for a day so uh we really like the quality right totally he's the professional photographer I of Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm the man behind the lens. He is. All kinds of lenses. iPhones. Mm -hmm. Sony's. We had a... What's the other one? Uh, Sony. Or Canon. We had a Canon for a second. Didn't Just love the it. cameraman. Didn't love it. Lost the small lens downstairs. I wanted you to say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, I'm doing a whole long review on my channel. If you want to go check it out. Self-promo. <laughs> <laughs> she's Aww. shameless. She's shameless. Self-promo. Yeah. yeah, she's doing a whole series. I already told them all about it. Oh, thanks. It's for dinner. Pickles! That's weird. <laughs> but for real. We're having... Chicken? Mm. All we do is chicken breast and salsa and bam, got some rice cooking in the rice cooker, olive oil, maybe some tortillas and a salad because health and um, I honestly don't really eat a lot of veggies right now so full day of eating coming on Friday. Don't judge me. I'm working on it. But yeah, does that sound good for dinner? Sounds excellent. Right, Zoe? Right, Zoe? Yes. Okay, final product. We have 236 grams of rice, three and a half ounces of chicken, some of this sauce. You can get it from Kroger really good macros, and olive oil, and then some mustard, a salad, we're gonna have some wine. Currently drinking Lang Twins, Zinfandel. From and who? who gifted it to us? Our dear friend, Anthony. Anthony Hensley, he gave us a whole box of wine. We're so thankful, so good. And Steve's gonna have the same here in a second. Closing out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more vlogs and more videos and more everything for me on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video for more content. And peace out.